Welcome back. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi asserted the Egyptian keenness on continuing the role in spreading the principles of uh, moderation, tolerance and peaceful coexistence through all the religious institutions atop of them, Al-Azhar al-Sharif, and in cooperation with the European Union and the member states and the entire world. The president stressed that Egypt is ready to contribute out of the responsibility and the ancient civilization for the sake of the nations and humanity at large, adding that it will continue to provide all the expertise and experience and the capabilities to reach the aspired goal of peaceful coexistence. This came in a phone call the President received from President of the European Council, Charles Michel. President spokesman Bassem Radi said that the call tackled the means of boosting bilateral cooperation to confront radicalism and achieve the civilized coexistence among the religions. Radi said that the President of the European Council said that Europe is counting on the Egyptian role that is characterized by balance and wisdom led by President Assisi in confronting the radical ideologies and the violence not just on the domestic level but regionally and internationally. He noted that Egypt has become a role model in activating the peaceful coexistence initiatives and achieving peace and cooperation among the nations. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi gave his directives to continue providing all the production supplies for Damietta Furniture City, including the primary students, woods, equipment and the modern machines. This came during the President's meeting with Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli, the Ministers of Local Development, Trade and Industry, as well as the Damietta Governor, Menel Awad Mikhail, Head of the Armed Forces Engineering Authority, Ehab al Far, and Presidential Assistant for the National and Strategic Projects, Sharif Ismail. The head of state stressed that enhancing the city would transfer it into an integrated and specialized center for the furniture industry within a framework of applying the most modern international techniques and promoted production lines. The president instructed that the city meets the local needs and opens new horizons of furniture exportation to the Arab and the African regions, which in turn would consolidate the investment opportunities for the city and foster the whole industry in Damietta and offer direct and indirect work opportunities for the governorate sons. Presidential spokesman Bassem Radi said that the meeting tackled the latest developments in Damietta Furniture City and the progress of the furniture industry in Egypt as a whole. Also on Sunday, President Assisi inspected a number of projects and constructional sites in the new administrative capital to follow up on the executive status of the projects and the achievements being realized so far. Presidential spokesman Bassam Radi said that the president inspected during the tour the Banks District and the Egyptian Islamic Culture Center in addition to a number of sectors and housing units plus the governmental district that includes the headquarters of the governmental authorities such as the cabinet, the parliament, the senate council among others. The head of state instructed to abide by the precautionary measures to avoid the spread of the coronavirus among the workers at various construction sites. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli addressed the House of Representatives during which he asserted that the decision to extend the state of emergency for another three months aims to fight the terrorism as the country faces a critical phase. Medvoli stressed that the government is committed not to use any exceptional measures, except in the emergency cases, to achieve the national security. Meanwhile, the House of Representatives approved the extension of the state of emergency after Parliament Speaker Ali Abdelhair referred to President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi's decision to extend 
the state of emergency to the General Committee. In an international peace conference, head of uh, the National Election Authority, Councillor Lashin Ibrahim, announced the results of the first phase of the parliamentary elections. Councillor Ibrahim announced the names of the winners in the first round, as well as the candidates who will go for a runoff. During the press conference, the councillor said the first round of the first phase was held at the highest levels of transparency. According to him, a few complaints were reported and solved instantly and that the turnout in the first round of the first phase was 28%. Ibrahim said 9 million Egyptians voted in the first round of the first phase. Egypt, Sudan and Ethiopia kicked off the latest round of talks over the Addis Ababa controversial dam on the Nile. The negotiations held through the video conference include the water ministers from the three countries as well as representatives from the African Union, the European Union and the World Bank. Previous three-way talks have failed to produce an agreement on the filling and operating of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. Egypt and Sudan have long called for a political solution to the dispute, voicing rejection against any unilateral action by Ethiopia. Algerians were voting on whether to approve the revised constitution that offers more democracy with some 23.5 million Algerians.